So CSS has this thing called logical properties, which allows you to set your width and height and your padding in things called inline and block instead of margin top and width and height. And the reason we do that is because sometimes languages don't read left to right, they read top to bottom like Japanese. Now you may say, ah, it's not that useful. I don't, I don't make Japanese websites, but here's a good use case. Here I've got this 1920px going on its side. And in order for me to make it go from left to right to top to bottom, I changed the writing mode and said vertical RL. Now I wanna be able to specify these little lines here. And what I've done is I put an inline and a block sizing on them. Now, if inline is generally going to be your width and block is generally going to be your height. If I give that a save and show you that I'm using width and height here, you'll notice that it works when it's left to right, but as soon as you change the writing mode, you don't get that. You'd have to write a whole nother set of selectors just to uh, modify those and switch them around. So by using block size and inline size, when I switch the writing mode, those things also change. So by default, inline is going to be the width, but when you switch it, it's going to be the height and vice versa for the block size. Same thing goes for padding. Here you notice I have padding block 20 PX. What that means is on the top and the bottom, I want 20 pixels of padding. However, when you switch it, I want the padding to be on the left and the right, right? So then I don't have to change top and bottom to left and right. So they're called CSS logical properties available in all of the browsers.